Is it time to buy or sell Apple stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Apple. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, April 6, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since March 13, 2023, our system has ranked Apple as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 2.84. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 9.43%. This translates to an average return of 0.5% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 19.11% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 13.4% and 21.16%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 3.89% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 28.04% and minus 0.684%. This translates to a price range of $118.49 to $163.53 after a year. Our latest daily update for Apple includes the headline, Apple stock price ended on $164.66 on Thursday after gaining 0.55%. The Apple stock price gained 0.550% on the last trading day, Thursday, April 6, 2023, rising from $163.76 to $164.66. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.83% from a day low at $162 to a day high of $164.96. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 3.61% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 6 million shares and in total, 45 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $7.47 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $176.15, and the lowest price was $124.17. Currently, the price is 6.52%, or $11.49, below the 52-week high, and 27.86%, or $63.60, below the all-time high on August 30, 2018, when the price reached $228.26. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Friday, February 3, 2023, D.A. Davidson set a price target of 173. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Raymond James set a price target of 170. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Wedbush set a price target of 180. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Rosenblatt Securities set a price target of 173. On Friday, February 3, 2023, D.A. Davidson set a price target of 173. Analysts have given Apple stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Apple. The Apple stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $164.04 and $154.84. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. 
Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, April 3, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 0.91%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 4 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 4 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 9 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 21 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 54 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 21 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 49 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 45 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Apple On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $155 and $154.50. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Apple finds support just below today's level at $155. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $154.50 and $150.82. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $2.96 between high and low, or 1.83%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.61%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Apple, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q1 2023 is expected on April 27, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.44. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Apple. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Apple is at $164.90. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Apple encounters its first support level at $155. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Apple from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Williams Jeffrey E., who bought and sold 358,432 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 24.647. Overall, insiders purchased 2,636,782 shares and sold 4,250,172 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $159.08, minus 3.39%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found three days ago. Is Apple stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Apple stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Monday, April 10th, 
we expect Apple to open down dash dollar 0.787 and start trading at $163.87. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.